Hi everyone, this is part three of my wood scented wax reviews. Um, I'm doing a three part series on scented wax wood scents. The first one that I did was sweet wood scents, like vanilla woods, that type of thing. Um, this one is smoky scents, smoky woods, uh, like embers, fireplace type scents. And then the last, the next and the last one will be just miscellaneous woodsy scents. So this one is a review of smoky woodsy scented wax. And I'll quickly go through each one and then I'll go through the details for each scent. First one we have a Sensational's Autumn Breeze. Better Homes and Gardens Autumn Campfire Glow, which consists of embers and oak. Sonoma Autumn Hayride. Woodwick Campfire Marshmallow. Sonoma Cozy Home. Sensational's Crackling Embers. Better Homes and Gardens Crisp Fall Leaves. Boulevard Embers and Ash. We have Hudson 43 Fireside. Sensational's Groovy Patchouli. Sensational's Harvest Moon. Sonoma Harvest Moon. Metro 201 Luscious Patchouli. Nicole's Home Accents Midnight Jazz. Sensational's Moonlight. Sensational's Roasted Chestnuts. Sensational's Smoked Birch. Better Homes and Gardens Sweet Roasted Chestnuts. Better Homes and Gardens Turning Autumn Forest, which consists of acorn and wood. Sensational's Vineyard Harvest, Better Homes and Gardens Warm Crackling Campfire, Better Homes and Gardens Winter Ski Resort, and Better Homes and Gardens Wooded Mount, I'm sorry, Wooded Mountain Trails. So the first scent that we have is Sensational's Autumn Breeze. The description is a harvest medley of pine and spice. Now to me, the pine is very, very subtle. I can barely smell the pine. I mean, I think it is there. I really, I just barely smell it. I do smell a little bit of spice, maybe a smidgen of cinnamon. I smell a little bit of clove. But it's, uh, I'd say, and, and it's very smoky. It definitely has like a, a campfire smell to it, which is why it's I'm reviewing this with the smoky wood scents. So yeah, I would say a smoky, smoky wood with a hint of pine and cloves and a little bit of cinnamon. Very nice scent. Better Homes and Gardens Autumn Campfire Glow. This consists of two scents. One is embers and one is oak. And the, hmm, the oak side is really not, the oak side is actually a sweet wood. The oak side is, um, it's not smoky. It's like a, it's a little bit smoky. It's a very, very slightly smoky, almost like a vanilla woods type scent with a, maybe a hint of cloves. The embers side, which is the more pinkish side, I believe. Oh yeah, the ember side is definitely, definitely a smoky scent. And this might have a hint of cloves as well. It's not as sweet as the other side. Almost has a very slight, maybe a, I don't wanna say almost a cologne scent, but it kind of does, the, the, the ember side has a little bit of a cologne scent. Again, very nice. Next, we have Sonoma Hayride. This is actually uh, new this year, fall 2015. You can see that. And, oh, this one smells amazing. It's, it's very, very smoky, like a, it definitely smells like a campfire. Smell, well, it smells like, like a hayride, but uh, a hayride that, that, you're, that you're taking to a, a campfire. It's very smoky. I definitely smell embers. I smell like uh, like leaves, 
I don't smell spice or cloves or anything like that. Well, may, uh, actually, there might be a hint of cloves. I think there is a, a hint of cloves, but... Oh, it's just the way this... The notes in this are very, very nice. They're really nice. If you like smoky scents, this Autumn Hayride by Sonoma is really a nice scent. Woodwick Campfire Marshmallow. This smells like... Well, it smells like kind of like burnt marshmallow. It smells like marshmallow over a fire. It has that sugary marshmallow smell, but but it's also very smoky. So it's a uh, yeah, it's definitely smoky, kind of smoky, burning sugar smell. It's a it's pretty, pretty authentic as far as a campfire marshmallow scent. Very nice. Sonoma Cozy Home. Again, this is fall 2015. And this, it's pink, which I don't know why that is. This uh, definitely has a, a clove scent. It's also, of course, smoky. Not quite as woodsy as some of the other scents, but more of a this is actually more of a roasted chestnut. I would say roasted. It definitely has a nutty, a nutty note, a roasted chestnut smell with, with a smokiness. A little bit sweet. There's some other note in there. Um, there might be, I don't want to say a bakery note, but there's something else in there. It's, it's well, cozy home. It does have that, that cozy. It does smell very cozy. Sensationals. Crackling embers. And this is kind of a, you know, standard smoky fireplace scent. And this actually smells like um, chestnuts too. It does have a nutty vibe. Maybe a little bit of clove. A lot of these smell very similar with just, you know, some difference in, in the notes. Hmm, nice one. Ah, you know, going back to Better Homes and Gardens Autumn Campfire Glow, the Ember scent I thought might have been similar to the Sensationals Crackling Embers, but it's not. Now that I'm smelling the Embers again, not to jump back and forth, but the em that what I'm smelling is tobacco. That pinkish side. Yep, that's definitely that's definitely a tobacco with with a, a smoky note. That I thought I recognized that that note in there. So it's that ember side here is a, is tobacco with a smoky note, a little bit of maybe cloves. Very nice. So yeah, crackling embers does not smell like that. It's just a standard kind of a smoky, maybe a, a roasted chestnut type smell. Better homes and gardens, crisp fall leaves. Again. This one has a very smoky scent. There's, there's other stuff going on in here. I don't know what it is, though. This is kind of unusual. It almost has a little bit of a kick to it. Like, I don't want to say citrus or apple, but not citrus. Oh, I think it's cinnamon. I think there's cinnamon in there. Um... Yeah, it's uh, smoky with a little bit of cinnamon. There's something else, and I can't put my note on it. I can't put my, my note, I can't put my finger on it. It's, um, it's interesting. Boulevard Embers and Ash. This is, this one is pure smoke. This smells like, this smells like a, like a campfire. I mean, just. I don't smell a whole lot of wood in here. I smell a lot of just smoke. And it's pretty authentic, embers and ash. That's really what it smells like. It smells smells like what's left over in a campfire after everything's melted or after everything is burned. It's very, very nice. Very nice scent. Next we have Hudson 43 Fireside. Hudson 43 is a brand... That's made by Tuscany Candles, specifically for Joanne Fabric Stores. I don't know if Tuscany has its own fireside scent, but if they do, it would be the, the exact same scent. The only thing that's different is the label. And this is it's just a standard, you know, fireside, um, smoky, 
almost a nutty scent. There's a little hint of, a hint of chestnuts in there. So it's just, you know, nothing really um, different from too many of the others. Nice though. This one is Sensational's Groovy Patchouli. And Groovy Patchouli is, as you would guess, it's a patchouli scent, but but it's smokier than the most patchouli scents I've smelled. It's it's definitely got that sweet sweet woodsy patchouli type scent, but there's something else in there. It's uh it's very nice. Sensational's Harvest Moon. I don't. Think think they make this one anymore if they do or I think this one was discontinued I'm not certain this is really really interesting it's very dark and kind of mysterious I wouldn't even say it's really woodsy but it definitely is smoky it says here on the label a brisk spicy walk through the corn maze um I do get definitely get a nutty vibe like a chestnut vibe but there's something else, and I would almost say maybe a very, very slight smidgen of licorice. I mean, it's barely noticeable, but there's some unusual note in there. It's really interesting. I, yeah, I would say just a smidgen of licorice. Very interesting, but it is definitely a smoky scent. Sonoma Harvest Moon, totally different scent from Sensationals. And this is a very, very smoky scent. This one just smells like, smells kind of similar to the Boulevard Embers and Ash. Uh, they smell very similar, even though they're different companies. Although the Sonoma Harvest Moon is more of an intense smokiness, almost like a, like that liquid smoke that you would that you put on food it's that smoky it's very very intense smokiness it's almost smoky like a yummy smoky that's the only way i can describe it this is probably the smokiest scent that i have this would probably boulevard embers and ash is probably the second smokiest um next one we have is metro 201 luscious patchouli Metro 201 is a brand that was made by Sensationals that's been discontinued. I think it was discontinued maybe back in January of 2015. They had some really nice scents, though. They were available at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know why they discontinued them, but they were really, really nice. This one, Luscious Patchouli, is... It's like it's a patchouli scent, and actually I'm not certain this should even go in with the smoky... The smoky category because it is smoky but it's also it's probably more of a it's more of a sweeter scent I think this one actually should go in with sweet wood I think I've kind of miscategorized it even though it does have a hint of smoke it's patchouli but it kind of smells like a little bit like vanilla woods like it has that type of a that type of a scent but there is a smokiness too Nicole's Home Accents Midnight Jazz. Nicole's Home Accents is a brand that's only available to AC Moore uh, arts and crafts stores on the east coast of the country. And their scents are amazing. Very nice, strong throw. This scent is, you know, it's definitely smoky. It almost smells a little bit like Harvest Moon. It almost has that, almost has a little bit of that very slight licorice quality, not quite as much. There's something else going on in there. It's definitely a smoky scent and almost kind of milky. It almost has a little bit of a, like a milky scent, like a milky smoky scent and a little hint of sweetness. I can't figure it out, but it's interesting. Sensational's Moonlight. 
I'm not certain if this should really go in the smoky category either, but it's, oh, this is a really, one of my fra favorite fragrances. It's really nice. This one was discontinued, I think a couple of, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, the label says a gentle twist of lime and mint. Well, first of all, it's black. Well, it's, it's a navy blue, almost black. And no, uh, lime and mint, I don't think so. This, this is a wonderful, beautiful scent. It's smoky. It's a little woodsy. It's dark. It's mysterious. I do smell something. I wouldn't say it's lime, but it does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a kick. It's almost a savory. There's some savory aspect to this. I guess it could be the lime. It kind of brightens it up a little bit. Mint, I don't smell mint at all. Not even a little bit. It is very, it's a little bit similar to the Sensational's Harvest Moon, but, but better. I think it's kind of like Harvest Moon with the addition of that, maybe that little bit of a lime, because I think I do smell a very slight smidgen of licorice. Again, barely noticeable. I don't like the smell of licorice. So like I said, I, if it's there, I barely smell it, which is good, but it is smoky too. It's, it's very, very nice. Sensational's Roasted chestnuts. This, of course, is, it smells like roasted chestnuts. It, it's very nutty and very smoky. Definitely roasted chestnuts. That's exactly what it smells like. Very, very nice scent. Sensational smoked birch. This is, this has a, this has a, a, a hickory note to it. It's a, it's a, it's a hickory smoke smell. This is like that hickory smoke, that liquid smoke that you would put on, put on some food, but it's, it's, it's a hickory smell. That's the only way I can describe it. Like almost like a, like a, like some kind of a meat. Over the top smokiness. Um, actually that might be quite, that might be as smoky as the Sonoma Harvest Moon is very smoky also. Yeah, the Sonoma Harvest Moon is more of a, like an authentic, like a ashy smoke, whereas a smoke birch is definitely more of a hickory smell. Almost like a, almost a little bit of a bacon. I'm kind of getting a little bit of a bacon scent. That's what I'm smelling. That's the hickory. A little bit. Yeah, that's, that, ooh, that's really good. Better Homes and Gardens Sweet Roasted Chestnuts. This one, this one, I'm, again, I'm not sure this should be under smoky because it's not really that smoky. It's, and it doesn't smell anything like the Sensational's Roasted Chestnuts. It's a totally different scent altogether. Sweet Roasted Chestnuts is, I definitely smell nuts and it does smell like chestnuts, not quite as smoky and almost smells more like, kind of like peanuts maybe. No, not, <sighs> oh, I can't, I can't tell. It's not quite as savory as roasted chestnuts. Yeah, roasted chestnuts is definitely more savory and more smoky. Sweet roasted chestnuts, not quite as smoky. It is smoky though, but it's, I, just different notes. Better Homes and Gardens Turning Autumn Forest consists of acorn and wood. And the wood side is kind of a little bit of a smoky, sweet, clovey type scent. That's the dark, the dark side. The acorn side, well, that smells very similar. The acorn side actually smells like like chestnuts, in fact, I'm wondering. The acorn side actually smells a lot like the Better Homes and Gardens sweet roasted chestnuts. Very similar, it might actually be the same scent. Sensational's Vineyard Harvest says Old World Wine Country. This is a discontinued scent. I think this was discontinued maybe a year or two, maybe even three years ago, I'm not sure. And when you think of a vineyard, 
this does not smell like a vineyard. There's absolutely no grape whatsoever. It's a smoky, woodsy scent. Just a typical smoky, woodsy scent. I really can't find any, pick any, any differentiating, differentiating notes out of it. Now this vineyard harvest is a dupe for Better Homes and Gardens wooded mountain trails. In fact, it's even the exact same, exact same color wax. If I can just get this open, if you look at wooded mountain trails, look at the wax there and look at vineyard harvest. It's exactly the same color. It's exactly the same scent. So it's nice to know that, you know, if you, if you really used to like Sensational's Vineyard Harvest, Better Homes and Gardens Wooded Mountain Trails is an, an exact dupe. Although I'm not certain if Wooded Mountain Trails is available anymore either. Now we have um, Better Homes and Gardens Warm Crackling Campfire. Again, just another crackling campfire scent. They all do start to smell the same after a while. Uh, not quite as smoky as the wooded mountain trails. I'm sure it's a it's a dupe for something else I have here. Uh, in fact, it may very well be a dupe for Sensational's Crackling Embers. Because they smell exactly alike. Very, very similar. I'm not certain if they're exactly the same scent, but they're very similar. Better Homes and Gardens Winter Ski Resort. Oh, and the Warm Crackling Campfire was a... Come on. Was a limited edition 2014. Same thing with the Better Homes and Gardens Winter Ski Resort, limited edition 2014. So I'm thinking that these are no longer available. Winter Ski Resort is, again, <laughs> another smoky scent. There may be a smidgen of, of pine in there. I, 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 I think I do smell a smidgen of pine, just a, just a little. Yeah, but just a little, maybe just pine and a smoky, smoky wood with a hint of pine. It's kind of similar to Autumn Breeze, but Autumn Breeze has a little bit of a sweetness and some other spices, whereas Winter Ski Resort is just the wood and the, the smoky wood with a hint of pine. So that is it for the smoky woodsy scents. And since this is the time of year where you're going to be having campfires and cookout, well, not cookouts, but sitting around the fire outside, fireplace, cozying up in the cold weather. So um, if you don't have access to a campfire or to a fireplace, you can kind of make do with, uh, with these woodsy, smoky, scented wax melts, and at least it'll... It'll smell like you're sitting around a campfire or a fireplace. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. The next video will be just miscellaneous woodsy scents. Uh, as I mentioned, the first video was more of a like sweet vanilla woods type scents. This video was smoky woodsy embers ash type scents. And the next and the last video will be just miscellaneous wood scents that really didn't fit into either the sweet or the smoky category. Um, thanks a lot. Have a great day.